Hey there, my wonderful seekers of the hidden wisdom. Let's dive into a cosmic nugget from the tenure, specifically from the portion for the 11th of the first Adar. Picture this as a Sadiq, a righteous person, right? Now, the Sadiq has a godly soul that's taken up residence in his body, mingling with the animal soul. But here's the kicker, the essence of the Sadiq, who he really is at the core. It's not the flesh, the bones, or the animal instinct. It's the godly soul. Now let's turn the page to our beloved Hillel, this sage. Oh, he was so immersed in the divine that he would forget to eat. His body was like a second thought, a second-class lowly creature, as he put it. For Hillel, his true identity wasn't the physical hunger or the body that needed sustenance. It was his godly soul, the slice of the infinite, that animated his every action. And here's where it gets even more mystical. When we talk about a righteous person, a Sadiq, They've got this superpower. They can turn the tables on their animal soul, making it a vessel for godliness. Imagine that the part of us that craves a cheeseburger could be so in sync with the cosmos that it too starts humming the tune of the divine. So, my friends, next time you're feeling a bit more animal than angel, remember the lesson of the Tanya and Hillel. We all have that spark, that godly soul within us. It's about nurturing it, letting it shine, and maybe, just maybe, we can transform our inner beasts into creatures of light and love. Keep seeking, keep shining 